Hi, welcome to Open Door Yoga. My name is Michelle and today I have a 30 minute core challenge for you. Uh, most of the core challenge today is gonna come from planks and side planks. So if those are not your favorite postures, don't go away, stay here. Sometimes the things that challenge us, that maybe scare us a little bit, are exactly what we need. I will be giving variations and modifications, and I know you guys got this. That being said, we will be spending a lot of time on our wrists. Um, I'll give options to drop down to elbows, but if you do have any underlying disease or damage in your wrists, or supporting your weight on your hands is just really uncomfortable. I do have a chair yoga version of the same class, and so I'll link that below. And you're welcome to choose the version of this class that suits your body best. If you are here with me today, let's get started. We don't need any props for this class, but we will be started uh, starting in seated. And so if you'd like to bring a lift under your hips, you're welcome to do so. You can grab any type of folded blanket or folded towel. It could be a bath towel, a beach towel, just anything that's gonna bring your hips a little bit higher than your knees. Sometimes when we're just getting settled in a practice, it takes out some of those flexibility demands in our low back and our outer hips, which might be feeling a little tight today. So as you begin to arrive here on the mat, in our easy pose, we're gonna be crossed here at our shins. Start to feel both of your sitting bones grounded down evenly into your lift or into the mat. Shoulder blades are down and in on our back body. Begin to create a little bit of space between your ears and your shoulders. Maybe we close down our gaze, or if that's uncomfortable for you, maybe we just lower our gaze down towards the mat. Find a spot on the ground in front of you. Bring awareness to your breath. Just gonna take a moment here so that you can fully arrive here. Be present so that you can get the most out of this practice. Take a couple more full breaths in. Maybe notice as we bring our awareness to our breath that our inhales and exhales, maybe they get a little bit longer. Maybe our breath begins to feel more even, more controlled. And as you're ready, we'll blink open our gaze or lift our gaze back to neutral. And we're gonna start by giving our wrists a nice stretch. Since we will be spending a bit of time on our hands, it might feel good to just stretch out our wrists. So let's extend our right arm in front of us and let's start by pressing into our palm with our left fingers, sending those right fingers up towards the sky. So be kind with your body, be gentle. There's no reason to push too hard here. Just feel a little bit of sensation or stretching through that carpal tunnel space and underneath um, our forearm. Take another full breath in here. And exhale, hinge at your wrist. Fingers are now pointed down and we're gonna press into the top of our hand. Now feeling the stretch through these muscles up here. Our wrist extensor muscles through the top of our wrist. Keep those shoulders down, relaxed away from your ears. Let's take another full breath in here. Another full breath out. And we'll take it to the other side. So release that arm down. Maybe take a full breath exchange here. Give yourself a shoulder roll or two. And then as you're ready, we'll extend our left arm out. And then send those left fingertips up towards the sky. Press into the palm of your left hand with your right fingers. Keep that awareness on your breath. Keep that awareness on the physical sensations of your body. Notice where you feel this stretch, where you feel this sensation here. And let's drop those fingertips, press into the back of your hand. Really feel that sensation 
through the muscles of your forearm, the top of your wrist. Maybe we bring awareness to our core. Notice that we have some integrity here. We're using our core strength to keep this upright spine, to take the pressure out of our low back. Let's take another full breath in here. Another full breath out. Release your hands down to maybe to the tops of our knees here, because we're gonna make our way into some belly circles to just kind of warm up our spine, open up through our chest, open up through our, um, our upper back body, and even work into our hips here. So from here, imagine this movement starting in your belly button, and we're gonna send our belly out to the left, and then we're gonna reach it forwards, and then send it back to the right and around. So choose one direction. We're gonna stay here for a moment. Maybe your circles start pretty small and slowly get a little bit bigger. And as they get bigger, you can use your hands and your arms here to pull your chest open in the front, pull those shoulder blades back, almost like a seated, um, a seated cow pose so our gaze can lift. And then when we get to the back of our circle, maybe we find a little leverage here in our arms to allow ourselves to really round through our spine a little bit more deeply. Feel that sensation, that opening between our shoulder blades versus in the front here where we feel it between our collarbones or through our chest. Maybe we pause in any position that just feels really good and needs a little bit of extra love or support this morning. Let's just take one or two more circles here. And then as you're ready, we'll come back to our nice, comfortable seat. Take a full breath exchange here. Notice where your body's at now compared to when we sat down just a few minutes ago. And then let's begin to take it to the other side. So just like when we were making circles, um, in our first direction, clockwise, start small. There's no need to rush in here. We're still really arriving here to this practice, warming up our spine. Sometimes in these warm up postures, it's easy for our mind to wander to start going back to that checklist of things that we have to do today. So as you notice thoughts pop up into your head, acknowledge them and then try to send them away. Use this time for you. So try to stay aware, try to stay present. Let's have a really nice mindful practice today. Allow these circles to get really big. We're just gonna be here for one or two more circles. And then as you're ready, arrive back in our comfortable seat. Take a full breath exchange. And then let's remove our lift if we used one. And we probably won't need it again. So you can set it off to the side. We'll just kind of throw it out of the way, whichever works for you. And we're gonna make our way onto hands and knees. So you can get there however you'd like. I'm gonna um, send both of my shins parallel with each other, rock over onto my knees, and then start to find my nice tabletop spine. So let's find wrists under elbows, elbows under shoulders. You can have a slight bend here in your knees, or in our elbows rather. Knees are under our hip points and start to find some engagement in your core. So if you're noticing your belly starting to sag down here, pull your belly button in, almost like you're trying to suck it into your body towards your spine. That's gonna hold our weight here in our core. Full breath in, full breath out. Toes can be tucked or untucked. We're gonna make our way into just some cat cows to keep warming up our spine. So on your next inhale, tilt your tailbone up, drop your belly, Pull your shoulders back, gaze lifts, Viti Lasana Cow Pose. Exhale, tuck your tailbone round through your spine. Press away from the earth. 
Drop the crown of your head, Marjorayasana Cat Pose. So now move with your breath. Inhales are gonna send you into Cow Pose. And again, we're feeling this opening, this widening through our collarbones. And your exhales will send you into Cat Pose where we feel the sensation rather up here in our upper back body between our shoulder blades. Let's take one more Cow Pose. One more cat pose. And then arrive back in our neutral tabletop spine. So for the, our cat cows, you had your toes untucked. I'm gonna have you tuck them here. They're gonna help support your balance as we transition into our next posture. Feel your weight balanced here between the two sides of your body. And keeping your weight balanced, on your next inhale, extend your left arm and your right leg long. So our left fingertips are reaching up towards the front of the room. We're pressing back through the sole of our left foot and our core is strong and engaged. Full breath in. Exhale, contract, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. One more time. Inhale, extend, exhale, elbow to knee. I'm gonna take one more inhale, find this nice long spine, straight line of energy, pause, and then exhale, release. Take any movement that feels nice, maybe send your hips from side to side. You can even send your gaze over past that opposite shoulder. And then begin to find stillness, find that weight balanced, centered, and we'll take it to the other side. So on your next inhale, this time, we're gonna extend our right arm and left leg and find this nice, straight line of energy. So I am finding opposition by reaching my right fingers forward and pressing back through the sole of my left foot. And that's gonna take a lot of engagement here in my core. So I'm still pulling that belly button, belly button in, full breath in. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. Awesome, one more time. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to knee. One more time, find this nice, long, straight line of energy. Pause here. And then exhale, release. Maybe we sit back into a quick toe stretch if that feels good, just to come off our wrists for a moment. If your pinky toes don't tuck, you can help them out. Use your hands to tuck them. If keeping your weight back here over your heels is too intense of a sensation in your feet, maybe we just walk our hands slightly forwards to take that weight out of our heels. We'll just be here for a moment. If it feels good, maybe take another stretch to those wrists. And from here, let's begin to walk our hands forward. Come back to tabletop. If it feels good, you can untuck those toes and maybe tap them a few times onto the mat. I have a modified little counter stretch there. From our tabletop, begin to ground down evenly through both palms, through all 10 knuckles. And then we're gonna send our hips back and up into our first down dog. Pedal out your feet here and start to bring awareness to your spine. So in downward facing dog, while we're opening up through our whole back body, we're really focused on creating this long spine. So use that integrity, that strength in your core to send your hips up and back a little bit higher. Pull your shoulder blades down and in on your back body. Maybe we find stillness here. And if that means that our knees have a slight bend to them or that our legs are extended but our heels are lifted, that's just fine. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Begin to anchor down through your left heel. Inhale, send that right leg up high and exhale, step it on through into a nice low lunge. I'm gonna take a moment here and just allow ourselves to start opening up through this left hip flexor. As we get settled in our lower body, 
pull those shoulder blades back to open up through your chest. So we might be here on our fingertips, or maybe our fingers are hovered, and we're building a little bit of heat through our legs. Full breath in. Exhale, if you've lifted up those fingertips, plant them. We're gonna step our back foot in about a foot distance and turn our left toes to face the front left corner of our mat. So about 45 degrees out. From here, ground down through your toe mounds of your right foot, the pinky edge of your left foot, and we're gonna rise up to standing. Hands can start on our hips. We're gonna find a nice warrior one posture. So stack your right knee over your right ankle. Back leg is strong and straight. Once you're starting to feel grounded here, let's use our hands to turn our hip points to face the front edge of the mat. Once we get our hip points there, hug those thighs to the center or to midline to help lock them in place. So we have a really strong base or lower body. We're engaging through our core. And then with lightness, extend those arms up and overhead. Create some space in your shoulders by rolling your pinkies to the midline, drawing those shoulders down away from your ears. Maybe pull your thumbs back slightly to open up through your chest. Gaze can lift. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, straighten through your right leg. And exhale, fold at your hips, release those fingertips down to the earth, pyramid pose. Relax through the back of your neck. Let the crown of your head drop down towards the earth. Now this can feel like a very intense stretch to your right hamstring. And if that's the case, you're welcome to have a gentle knee bend in that right knee. Find that position where you can really relax through your upper back, through the back of your neck. Full breath in, full breath out. Plant those hands, step our feet back, and we're gonna make our way into our first plank. So from plank today, every time we're in plank, we're gonna make our way into a side plank. So if you know that you're gonna to wanna to do planks and side planks on your knees, Drop your knees here and make your way into a knee plank. If you know that your wrists are gonna be uncomfortable, maybe drop your elbows and come to a forearm plank. If you'd like to do the full variation, pop on up to your hands. Wherever you're at, let's find a strong plank posture. So shoulders are behind our wrists and instead of dumping our weight in our shoulders, and really, you know, holding our weight up in our wrists. Pull your belly button in. Again, kind of like you're trying to suck it into your body. And we're gonna hold our weight with our core. Hug your thighs to the midline. Lift your heels over your toe mounds. And then energetically, press back through the soles of your feet. Reach your crown towards the front of the room. Full breath in. Exhale, begin to roll your right hip down. Stack your left arm on top of your left shoulder. Left fingertips reach up towards the sky. Now you can keep your legs stacked like this, or maybe if you're looking for more balance, we stagger them, sending our left foot forward. Gaze can look up or gaze can be neutral. Full breath in here, full breath out. Unwind, come back to our plank, keep that weight held in your belly. Exhale, lower down the chaturanga. Inhale, make your way to up dog. And exhale, hips go up and back, downward facing dog. Full breath in here, full breath out. Maybe take another foot pedal if that feels good. Take one more full breath exchange here. Exhale, begin to ground down through that right heel. Inhale, send that left leg up high. Exhale, step it on through. We're gonna make our way into our low lunge. So if it feels good, you can always drop your back knee if it's uncomfortable to keep it lifted. Otherwise, feel that opening through your front hip flexor and then work your way up. Open up through your chest, lift up under your fingertips or maybe hover here. Keep hugging those thighs to the midline to keep your balance, to keep those hips in line. 
One more full breath in. Exhale, plant those hands down. Step your left foot in about a foot and then send those toes out 45 degrees. So warrior one feet. And before we start to rise, feel grounded. So press down through your left toe mound and also through the pinky edge of your right foot. This back leg is our rudder, which is gonna help keep us upright and balanced. So full breath in, full breath out, find that grounding. And then inhale, rise on up, hands on hips. Whoa. Hug those thighs to the midline to keep your balance and to keep those hips locked forwards. Stack your left knee over your left ankle. Back leg is strong and straight. You'll probably feel some sensation here um, in your right calf muscle. A little bit of stretching. Strong base, strong core. And then with lightness, we can extend those little arms overhead. Create that space in your shoulders. And then pull your thumbs back. Open up through your chest. Take a full breath in here. Your Bhadrasana one, warrior one, full breath out. Inhale, extend that left leg. Exhale, fold at your hips. So we're coming into pyramid pose. Allow that gentle rounding in your upper back body, your neck. Try to avoid any tension in your neck. Release the crown of your head down towards the earth. If you're noticing that your hips are starting to open up to the right, imagine pulling your left thigh bone back into the hip socket. That's gonna help keep your hips in line here, help keep your pelvis neutral, and it's gonna keep that sensation here in that hamstring. Full breath in. Exhale, plant those hands, send your left foot back. We're gonna make our way to plank. Take a moment here and find that plank posture that's gonna work best in your body. So you can stay up here in your hands, you can drop down to your knees, or drop down to your forearms. Take a full breath in, really pull that belly button in, hold your weight in your belly, straight line of energy, strong body, full breath in. Exhale, roll onto that left hip. Shoulder stays behind our left wrist. Slowly begin to send those right fingertips up towards the sky. Gaze can lift or stay neutral. Keep those feet stacked or maybe send that right foot forward and stagger your legs for a little bit more balance, a little bit more stability. Take another full breath in, full breath out. Keep lifting through that left hip. Through that left hip. Then unwind, make your way back to plank. Gonna pause here for just a moment. Keep that weight in your core. You guys have this. Full breath in. Exhale down the chaturanga. Inhale, send it on up to up dog. And exhale, we're gonna send it back all the way to downward facing dog. And let's take three full breaths together. So full breath in, audible exhale, full breath in. Audible exhale, full breath in, audible exhale, find stillness, find this nice long spine. Maybe we're reaching those heels down a little bit closer to the earth this time. Begin to shift your weight or anchor, anchor down through that left heel. Inhale, send that right leg up high. And this time on our exhale, we're gonna slowly send our knee up and over to touch our right or our left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, send that right knee over to the right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest, pause. Then step it on through to our low lunge. And again, our back knee can stay lifted, or if you'd like to lower it, that's always an option. Find that leg position that feels most comfortable. Hug those thighs to the midline. We are still engaged here in our core. Once we feel like our lower body is balanced and stable, lift open through your chest. 
Maybe we bring our fingertips to hover, building a little bit of heat in our thighs and our legs. From here, really keep those thighs hugged to center. As we inhale, press up and rise to a high lunge, hands come to heart center. Full breath in, full breath out. Let's take one more inhale here. And then exhale, we're gonna twist to the right. And so this can be a small twist, or maybe we try to hook our left elbow on the outside of our right thigh, pressing our sternum or our breastbone towards the right wall. Full breath in, full breath out. One more inhale here. Exhale, unwind, plant your hands, step it on back to plank. We're gonna make our way back into a side plank. So choose the plank version that's gonna help support you best. Maybe we're up here on our hands, maybe we're down on our forearms, or maybe we're down dropping our knees. Keep that weight held in your core, full breath in. Exhale, shift that right hip down and over. Send your left fingertips up towards the sky. Feet can be stacked or maybe staggered. And our goal here is to keep a nice long spine. So if you're noticing your right hip starting to drop, pull it on up. You got this. One more full breath in. One more full breath out. Unwind. Hold this nice, strong plank posture for a full breath. Exhale, release down the chaturanga. Inhale it on up to up dog. Exhale, let's all make our way to downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here. Find stillness, find a nice long spine. Keep engaged through that core. That's what's gonna help send those hips up and back. Maybe we notice our chest is getting a little bit closer to our legs. Maybe we're noticing that our heels are still slowly getting a little bit closer and a little bit closer down to the earth. Full breath in, full breath out. Begin to anchor down into your right foot. Inhale, send that left leg up high. Exhale, we're gonna take that knee over towards our right elbow and pause. Inhale, send it up to three-legged dog. Exhale, send that knee over towards your left elbow. Pause. Inhale, three-legged dog. And then everybody together, exhale, knee to chest. Pause here in the middle, strong engagement. You guys have this. And then step it on through to our low lunge. Again, if it's more accessible in your body, drop your back knee. Otherwise, keep it lifted here. Keep those thighs hugged to the midline. If your knee is lifted, lift your right heel over your right toe mound. So we can press backward through the sole of our feet. As you feel stable, open up through your chest. Maybe we bring our fingertips up to hover here. Strong core. Keep that hugging those thighs to the midline. And with that strong base, that stable, balanced base, press it on up to a high lunge, hands come to heart center. If you feel yourself a little wobbly here, just keep hugging those thighs to the midline or to that center line of your body. Peek down, make sure you can see your left big toe, full breath in. Exhale, begin to twist to the left. And so maybe it's a small twist. Or maybe we bring our right elbow to hook on the outside of our left thigh. And if we're doing that, we can kind of press into our outer thigh to send our sternum or our breastbone towards the left side wall. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, unwind, woo, plant those hands. Step it back to plank. Choose that plank option that feels best in your body. But whichever one you're doing, we're not dumping into those shoulders. We're pulling that belly button in and holding our weight in our core. Full breath in. 
Exhale, roll that left hip under. Stack that right shoulder on top of the left, right fingertips, reaching up towards the sky. And then choose that foot variation that feels best. Maybe we're stacked or maybe we're staggered if we're looking for a little bit more balance. Full breath in, keep pulling that left hip up. Full breath out, keep breathing. One more full breath in. Unwind, last time in plank. You guys got this. Hold that weight in your core. Exhale down the chaturanga. Inhale on up to up dog. Open up through that chest. And exhale, last time, hips go up and back. Downward facing dog. Let's take some breaths together. Full breath in. Audible exhale. Full breath in. Audible exhale. Full breath in. Audible exhale. Let's all drop those knees. Bring our toe mounds to touch. Spread those knees to the long edges of your mat. Send your hips back. Make your way down to child's pose. Forehead can come down to the earth. Bring that awareness back to your breath. Sometimes when we're doing postures that require quite a bit of strength, it's easy to lose your breath. So take a moment here to bring your awareness back. Maybe close down your gaze. Full breath in, full breath out. One more nice full inhale here. And exhale, walk your hands over towards the left side of the mat. Press that forehead back down. So feel this nice side body stretch through your right torso. On your inhales, feel that expansion in your right rib cage. One more full breath in. Full breath out. Make your way back to center here. Take a full breath exchange. And then as you're ready, walk those hands over to the right. Release that forehead down. Notice where you feel the sensation here. Notice that stretch shifting from the right side of your body over towards the left. Maybe you feel it up in the back of your shoulder. Maybe you feel it down into your torso. Maybe you even feel it down into your hip. Let's take one more full breath in. One more full breath out. Unwind here, come back to center. You can take any last minute movements that feel good. Maybe we send our hips from side to side. You could even bend into those elbows, bring your palms to touch and bring those hands back just to feel a little bit different sensation here. I'm gonna leave you here in child's pose. So take as much time as you need today to allow your body to settle, to find stillness in both your body and in your mind. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me today. Namaste.